Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. All right, brother, let's continue on with the word of the Lord. Let's go back to first, first, Ezra, first Kings 8, 44. First Kings, chapter 8 and verse 46. 46, yes. Go ahead. If they, if they sin against thee, uh -huh. for there is no man that sinneth not. Go ahead. And thou be angry with them. So the Most High God, the sisters that's listening on the, on the um, bus stop, the brothers that's listening across the street, the Most High was angry with his people. Go ahead. And delivered them to the enemy. He delivered us to our enemies. The enemies. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 1. Who are the enemies? We're going over repentance. But we're going to break it down line upon line so you can understand. I don't understand why they keep killing me. Because they're your enemy. I don't understand how I'm going to vote for these politicians, Joe Biden. He's, going to, he's not going to change either. You cannot change them people, sis. You got to change yourself. Right. We got to change ourselves, brother. We can't change them. God made them that way. You can't break the mold. You can't remold something with God break what God made. Right. How can you all of a sudden you get a tire from Bridgestone, Bridgestone tires, right? Or Falcon tires. You try to take the tire apart and remold the tire to something else. We're gonna remold into a door or something like that, or a tree, so it can grow. You can't do that. Because why? It was created to be a tire. That's how the most highs created these people. Created to them to be the enemy. Read. Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 1. Go ahead. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Go ahead. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Go ahead, Mount and, Seir. That's Esau. Go ahead. And prophesy against it. Go ahead. And say unto it. Jump to verse 5 now. Verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. The so-called white man and the other nations have had continual hatred to our people. Continual is never stopped. I don't care how much they say you're my friend. It's continual. They're your friend, but they're never going to restore that which they have stole or what their grandparents stole. Yeah. You're such a Christian, give me back my house. You're such a Christian, give me back my credit. You're such a Christian, give me back my money. Right. Give me back my homeland, Israel. Right. If you're such a Christian, they're not going to do that. That's just words that they use to deceive you. That's the words that they use to deceive you. All people getting tricked. In the trick bag all the time, because you know why? That's the curses and darkness. Looking for somebody to save us. We vote for the politician. They don't save you. Right. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna change the community. You know, it's how they always want the black votes, quote unquote. They want to go to the black people, get the black sisters, the Hispanic sisters, get them on their side so they could quote unquote get the vote. And once they get in the office, they don't do nothing for you. Get out. You're gonna be continue to be more shootings. More not not guilty verdicts, no convictions, because God is doing this to us. Because he, he wants us to wake up. Hold that, go to Hosea 5.15. You got to wake up. If you, wanna, if you want things to change, you got to change yourself. We got to change ourselves if you want things to change. They're not going to change nothing from you, for you. They're going to change for their people, not for you. We didn't come to this country to be free. This is not the land of free for you. It's free for them. We gotta pay for everything. We pay what we pay for everything. They get a free ride, not you. Right. They get an inheritance, not you. Read on. Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15. Get Listen out. good. I will go and return to my place. This is Mosai saying, I will go and return to my place. Go ahead. To they acknowledge their offense. To they acknowledge their offense. What's the offense that we have to acknowledge? Give me first John 3, verse 4. We offend till we acknowledge our offense, my brother in the truck. Till we acknowledge our offense. Go ahead. 
First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Go ahead. For sin is the transgression of the law. So the offense is sin. Breaking the law. That's what transgression means. Go back to Hosea 5 15. Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15. Yes, sir. I will go and return to my place uh -huh. till they acknowledge their offense. So Israel as a whole has not acknowledged their offense. We have not acknowledged our offense against the Messiah. That's why we're still here. He said, I will go and return to my place until you get yourself together. You acknowledge your offense. You acknowledge what you did wrong. Go ahead. And seek my face. And turn from your sins. Turn back to the Bible. Seek the Lord. We sinned against him. He sent your enemies over you. They got a sister yesterday who was hog tied in back of a cop car. Come on, guys. We're going through this time after time and time again. Time after time, we vote, we vote, we vote. Still getting, before getting hanged. Brother, people was getting hanged months ago. They're right. still getting shot down in the street. What's, how are we going to change? Voting? We've been voting ever since, what, the 50s? When they allowed us to vote, it ain't changing nothing. So how can we change, my brother? How can we change, sister? We got to stop the offenses, the sin, adultery, smoking weed, stealing, right. lying from each other, right. not marrying your wives, right. homosexuality. Right. We ain't acknowledge those offenses. Partying, reveling, drunkenness, smoking. Cross dressing. You know, I'm going to get into that later. I'm going to get into that. Let's get that. We're going to read that. Read that. In their affliction, uh -huh. they will seek me early. So now, in affliction, oppression, the Most High is allowing some of our ears to be opened. Because you know, a lot of us being humble, we're saying, What's going on, Lord? What is going on? So now the Most High is showing you because you offended me, your offense against me. I had to allow that to happen. So what we have to do, you got to get right with God in order to stop this stuff. All right. In order to stop this stuff, you have to get right with the Messiah, Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. Let's go back to uh, 1 Kings. We're still on repentance and laws. Go ahead. 1 Kings, chapter 8 and verse 46. Go ahead. If they sin against thee, uh -huh. for there is no man that sin if not. We all have made mistakes. We all have offended against the, offense against the Messiah. So we're afflicted for it. We reap what we sowed. Go ahead. And thou be angry with us. So now God was angry with us. A lot of us don't want to hear it. Well, if you don't want to hear it, too bad. Then stay in a not guilty verdict. Stay in a no justice, no peace verdict. If you don't want to hear it, the Most High says, until you acknowledge your offense, I, then I will come and do upon your, your, your part. Then I will come help you. But since you don't want to hear it, fine then. You're going to stay that way. Go ahead. And now be angry with them. Because the Lord is angry. That's why this thing has happened. Point blank period. We sin against the Lord. He's angry. That's it. Right. Go ahead. And deliver them to the enemy. So he delivered them to the enemies, the other nations. Go ahead. So that they carry them away captives. And they what? That they may carry them away captives. They carried us away captive. They brought us from Africa. The west coast of Africa, different parts of Africa, to the North American region. They took us from Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, carried us to Spain, carried us as the Moors that was in Spain over to this side of the earth and different parts of the uh, region of, of the world. That's the diaspora. That's where you come from. But we don't, we don't want to accept that. Go ahead. That they your can't. enemies, your enemies carried you away captive. Look at the sign. Where's the sign at? Look at the sign, brothers and sisters. Where's the cap the sign? With the slave ship right there. My brothers and sisters looking at this. At, over there at the bus stop. Look at this. You see this? They carried us away captive. Sardines in a boat with mice, rats, everybody defecating on themselves. Go ahead. So that they carry them away captive. You are not free, black man. Just give it up. You're not free, Hispanic man. Give it up. We are made to be a slave in this community. That's why when we, want, we get money, we go to a certain neighborhood, they redline you. You're not living over here, Negro. You're going to stay right over there with them rats and roaches on top of each other. 
or next door to each other. You ain't coming up here tearing up my neighborhood. Go ahead. Unto the land of the enemy. The land of the enemy. This is the en this is the land of the enemy. Because why? We have our homeland. It's Jerusalem. Right. Israel. This is the land of our enemy. Go ahead. Far or near. Far or near. Go ahead. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. Yet, in our oppression, in our affliction, if we will seek God early. Go ahead. In the land, whether they were carried captives. A.K.A. Go ahead. And repent. And what? And repent. What is repentance? Who knows? Do we have any knowledgeable brothers and sisters out there? What is repentance? We are here for you. The answer is right in front of your face. What is repentance? Repentance is you changing from your ways. Right. You used to be a homemonger, have boyfriends, have girlfriends. You stop that. You prove that person. Keep the laws of God and you marry that person. That's right. No more sleeping around. If you want oppression to stop, stop sleeping around. Right. If you want oppression to stop, stop smoking weed. Right. If you want oppression to stop, stop killing your neighbor. That's right. If you want oppression to stop, love thy neighbor as thyself. You can hold it for me. Just hold it for me real quick. Hold it, hold it. No. Love thy neighbor as thyself. No usury. No murder, no homosexuality. You say you want, we say we want justice. Right. We say we want vengeance. The Lord got vengeance prepared, but he's waiting for your obedience. Bring it out. Give me that in 2 Corinthians, thir uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 9. Avenge all the people from your obedience. Oh, right, right. Yeah, that one. So the Lord has vengeance. You say you want the answer, the answer is right in front of your face. It's right in front of your face. How you doing, my brother? Everything all right? All right, my brother. You got some time real quick? Five minutes? Okay, let's read that real quick. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 6. Go ahead. And having in a readiness to a revenge all disobedience. Go ahead. When your obedience is fulfilled. When your obedience is fulfilled, then the Most High will come and lay vengeance on the, uh, the rest of the nations. Right. He waiting for you. He waiting for you, my brother. Stand up, sister. He waiting for you to stand up. He waiting for the men to cr come up to be leaders. No homosexuals no more. That's done. That's repentance. You used to be in that lifestyle, let it go. Come back and return to the Lord, repent. That's what they want you to be. They don't want you to be Samson. They don't want you to be King David. King, King David slayed 10,000 men, his enemies. King David was a warrior, a black man from right. the tribe of Judah. You think they want King another King David, a bunch of King Davids running around here? No. Do you think they want a bunch of um, Solomons? The wisest man. He was a black man. Give me Song of Solomon 1 and 5. We'll prove it. it We're going to continue to stay on repentance. Song of Solomon was a black man. Right. He was not a white man. Sorry. David was not a white man. Sorry. We got the proof. Go ahead. Read that. Song of Solomon. Go chapter ahead. 1 and verse 1. Go ahead. The Song of, so the song of Songs, which is Solomon. Solomon is David's son. Go ahead. Verse 5. Go ahead. I am black. What is Solomon? I am black. Go ahead. But come. But beautiful. Go ahead. O ye daughters of Jerusalem. Go ahead. That's as, it. Go ahead. As the tent of Kedar. Kedar was one of the sons of Ishmael. He was black. That's why you see some of the Arabians are black. They come from a black dad. Abraham. Go ahead. As the curtains of Solomon. But they're not our people. They're not our people. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.